Hi and welcome to the next topic of this course. Now in this topic we will get started with our first JavaFX application. So let us now proceed and check out how do we create our first application in JavaFX and say hello JavaFX. So this was our Java application on top of which we were writing our Java programs in our previous three modules. Now we can start creating our JavaFX application within this application of Java app itself. But for the better understanding let me show you how do we create a basic JavaFX application using the IntelliJ IDE. So first I will close my project. And then here from our welcome screen I will start creating a new project. And this time I am going to select this JavaFX. So let us select JavaFX. Click on next. And then give my name as JavaFX app. And here I will save it in my desktop. You can save it anywhere you want to. Hit on finish. So it will simply create a basic Java application for us. Now in front of you we have the main.java, controller.java and now we have a new guest here sample.fxml file. Now please don't worry about what these files stand for. Currently let us focus on our JavaFX application, expand it, go to source and there you will find the sample package within which we have controller, main and sample.fxml file. Now our first step will be to refactor our package name because as per the convention our package name should always be unique in the whole world. So I will right click, go to refactor and rename it and call it com.internshala.javafx because the com.internshala is unique in the whole world and if we add javafx then again it will become unique. Just for the better understanding let us call it javafx app. Refactor it. So now our package name is com.internshala.javafx app. Expand it and there you will find the controller.java file. For the time being let us delete it. We will create it in future when we will require it. So delete the controller.java file. Delete anyway. And now why don't we do one thing. Let us delete all these files as well. So our package is now blank. So let us start creating our first Java file. Let us go to new Java class and again let's call it my main.java this time. You can call it even main as well but I will now call my main.java. Now whenever we create a JavaFX application our main file will actually extend from the class of application. So here let us use application and now when you select application make sure you select javafx.application. Now there are many other variants of the application class such as com.apple.eawt, com.sun and so on there are many other application classes. So make sure you select javafx.application. And here it will show the import package javafx.application.application, right? And then here let us override the abstract method by pressing alt plus enter and implement the methods. Select the start and hit on ok. So it will simply override a method for you. Public void start method that has a parameter of primary stage. And here it throws an exception that I will talk about it shortly in future. And at the top we have the override notation. And now what about the main method. So let us define our main method as well. So here I will define public static void main string args as usual that we used to define in our previous module for the Java applications. And now within our main package let us create our fxml file. So right click, new, go to fxml file. Now whatever steps that I am showing you, please follow the same steps. Then only we both will be on the same page and you won't find any difficulty to follow this module. So here I will call it as app underscore layout. Click on OK. 
and there it will create a app layout.fxml file. Now if you open the app layout.fxml file, at the bottom you will find two tabs, text and scene builder. If you select the scene builder, it will show you all these layout in front of you. And if you select the text, you will find all these code. Currently we all are not familiar with all these code. So right now I don't like it, let us remove it. Now instead of all these code, just below the video you will find the helper text. Within the helper text, you will find the code for fxml file. So simply copy all those code and paste it here. I will do the same. So let us paste it here. So here at the top we have some code and then we have something similar to the java import statement. Import javafx scene.layout.pane. Now this pane is basically present here, right, pane. So what this pane stands for? For now just remember within the fxml file whatever tag that we have here at the top is known as the root node. So right now our pane is the root node of our fxml file. So just remember the pane is our root node. And then here I will go to scene builder tab. And there you will find the pane is actually present here, this pane that we just copied and pasted in our text tab. So if you run the application right now, our application will look blank. Now within the scene builder, you will find multiple windows. On the left hand side, it is basically known as the palette that will help you to design your application. In the center, it will show you a preview of your application, how your application will look like when you run your application. And on the right, we have another window that will help you to modify the properties of the nodes that we have defined here. And please don't worry about all these windows. This is just a basic application structure that I am talking about right now. We will deal with all these files and windows in our upcoming videos and topics. So as of now, please don't worry about anything. If you are not understanding anything, then it's okay. We will get familiar with all these things in future as well. For now, just remember this is our root node pane that we have defined it here. 